with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Well, I've been on the street for eight years now, and uh, just eight years is really not a long time in this job, but I've seen a definite change. I mean, crime's on the rise, and I don't think we're losing the streets. We're just probably holding even. But the way uh, these laws are changing and the fact that these people are not being put away, you arrest them, you see them right back on the street. It's making our job a lot tougher. Santa Ana on a 242 in progress. <laughs> the complainant, the sister's boyfriend's outside arguing and hitting with her. He's a male Hawaiian driving a red Chevrolet Nova. Basically, we just got a call. The complainant said his sister's outside fighting with her boyfriend, described as a male Hawaiian. If we don't hurry up and get there, he's going to get a gun. Correction, he, he doesn't have the gun out and was advised not to use it. Uh, the complainant is Adrian. He's a male Hispanic, 19 to 20, no shirt, black cut off and pants. Oh, yeah. Oh, in it right now. He's out of control. He just hit him with the board. Hey! Hey, back off, back off, back off. Look! Trying to hit him. Hey, hey, that's him. Would you relax? Hey, keep him on the ground. Hey! Hey! Oh, I'm fighting it. He's here right there! Just stay relax, there. okay? Yeah, stay right here, man. He's right there. I'll stay right here. Put cuffs Respect on him for right now. Man! I don't know what you were, honestly. Lay on your stomach. All right, I'll have a feeling. Right there! Right there! Oh, don't talk now, you white hey. punks! Hey! Get on your okay. knees. Okay. Hey, right How there. are you? Get on your knees. I want him for salt and battery. You got any ID on you? Man, you pull up! Block the wall. Shut up. Huh? Oh, you shut up too. You got any ID on you? It's in the house. What I want you to do is sit on that log, okay, and take a deep breath. I've got a. They hit him in the leg with a board and oh, got a bad leg anyway. Why don't, why don't everybody else wait over at that car and well, I'll talk to you one by one? Okay, just sit down, okay? okay. I'd rather you sit down. Thought that deadly right, huh? You started to Partner? You went down on the ground. Listen to hey. me. Right, hey! I want you to chill down. I'm going to talk to each of you and find out what's going on, okay? I cannot do my job. Just listen to me. Right? I cannot do my job with everybody screaming, okay? Just give us that chance, all right? I'll give you that chance. You can tell me what happened. Let him tell that one. I dropped my girlfriend off here at, at her mom and dad's house. Okay. And I asked her what time you want to pick you up. She goes, just whenever you come back. So you came back round here? So I came back over here. And her dad, her uncle, and her aunt, and everybody come outside <laughs> telling me that, uh, oh, you ain't driving her car. And you're, you're, you're a bum, and you're this, and you're that. And I said, well, you know what? Well, forget you guys. I'll leave my car. Well, her mom and her aunt get in the car. So you're not taking off the car. I said, well, you know what? You get back. He kept trying to come up to me on five and stuff. I said, you know what, fight me, fight me then, okay? He already had two boards already set up over there inside the house. He picks one board up, comes over, tries to hit me with it. So I went over there and I grabbed the other board that he had there. I said, well, come on. He had one board, I had one board. He's, I swung at him and hit him in the leg with one board. He dropped his, and then we just started fighting, and we landed on the gun right here. And then you guys pulled up. So basically, you both had boards, right? You picked up the board first. I threw mine down and said, that's cool. But you picked the board at first, all right? No, because he was at one. Just listen to me. Just listen to me. It's not self-defense. I'm charging him for back. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. He's drunk. He comes to my home. He attacked me. He's going to jail. Or I'm going to call your supervisor and find out why he's not in jail. Don't threaten me, OK? I'm telling you I'm asking you what you want to do. Don't threaten me, all right? I'm not threatening you. OK. He's lying to his teeth. Everybody knows he's lying. You asked I the told, wrong girl. You should have asked the mother. I told well, you. Well, you know what? Being that 
you're her father and that's her Boy. husband or boyfriend, Boyfriend. I think that's what person to talk to you too, okay? When he would come over towards me, my husband, that's when he picked up the board. And then I said, he didn't hit me, he didn't hit me. And then my husband dropped the board and he picked up the other board. He picked up the other board before he, I mean, after my husband dropped that board. And then he picked he it up said, and oh, slammed him. Fight. He's got okay, a bad brain. He knows and it. Charlie dropped the board before and he, tells he even her, said that. Know, and that's why she And that's what he did with the board, right? Yeah. The board didn't do that. That was that nail. He smacked me. If he's going this way, that nail gouged me. And this is from the shotgun blast? Yeah. Okay. You want to see this? <laughs> Man, this ain't right. <laughs> hey, you didn't want to drop your pants. <laughs> Basically, what you did to him was a felony, saw with a deadly weapon, which was a board, and what he did to you by punching you was a misdemeanor battery, okay? All right. All parties have agreed to drop this, and basically, the only reason you're going to jail is because you've been, been drinking. You've been drinking, and we feel confident we can leave this call and not return for another one. I, since you've been drinking, the motions are really hot right now. I do think you'd be back, and we'd be right out here and it'd be going again, okay? Okay. You happy with that? I'm satisfied with it. Felony's better than, going drunk in public's better than a felony, right? Anytime. Okay. Good night. Charles, this is the deal. He's agreed to drop charges too. He's, hey, he kind of didn't want to. He claims he didn't hit you with the board, but hey, don't worry about Maybe it. Maybe when he sobers up. What'd you do to him again? When he had you down? Uh, when he had me down? Yeah, because we came out and we saw you okay. on top of him. I wrestled him over to this log here. He was here. I was down on my knees trying to get up. Well, I just lunged forward like a football player and down he went. And then I smacked him four or five times in his noggin. Must be pretty strong. Who, him? You. Yeah. I've been around. I enjoy fighting. I, I, and she, my wife just wouldn't let me fight. She won't let me fight in the last 10, 10 12 years. But you enjoy it, huh? I wonder why. I lived in a mini bar. A kid like that, I killed my younger Man, age. He doesn't drink. He stays out of trouble. All we try to do is raise our five kids, girls, and they four bring girls, the and have these boys me. bully him. I, I, I don't want no household with him. I just want it to end. But no one's going to strike my wife without me. Hey, in the middle. do me a favor next time, though, OK? Call us before you throw blows, he did. okay? He did. We, as soon as he started cussing at him at the door, at her okay. daughter, he said, call the police. I was sitting against right the car. There. I told him, oh, please he come back, back in the house, and they he wouldn't come back, back in the house. Boy, was this bizarre or what? They were adamant about press charges, but then the old man comes up to me right at the end and says, hey, I was a little hot, you know, I feel good now. I don't want this to wreck my fishing trip, so hey, I don't <laughs> want to press charges. And... Can you believe it just over a fishing trip? Yeah, I got the other guy. He don't want to press charges. He's lucky. He's going just for drunk in public, so everybody's happy. 6069, description again. It's a black male adult, dark colored pants. You can see a short taken out. Um, no shirt. 660, I'm over there. Oh, yeah, we've got a perimeter set. I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and start my search. He's still going south. Let's get him in at uh, 43rd Street, 39th Ave. Nope. 32, I got him running north through the perimeter over the fence. What we're looking for is a couple of burglary suspects that broke into this community center building in the uh, park. And uh, one of them is already in custody, and the other one is moving along backyards in the uh, area just to the south of us here. So between myself and about four other units, we've got a fairly good perimeter set. This is X-ray 2. I'm at the far east perimeter. I'm taking Lantana at 44th Street now. 69 X-ray. Copy. Lantana, 44th. Zero X-ray 2. Are you going east from here, Marty? He's gotta be right here. Yeah, he's gotta be. There he goes. Go over the fence. Freeze! Oh, man. 
Unit south of Lantana. Head for Fruit Ridge Road. Freeze! Come on down this side. You're going to get bit. You need somebody on that side? Don't everybody come on this side. Done! You're done! Come on down! When you hit the ground, lay down or the dog will bite you. Down! Come on down! Watch him. He's dusted, guys. Watch him. All right. He's going to come this way. All right. Get on the side. We got anybody over there? Yeah, yeah we got three. three. All right. He's dusted. Come on down the truck. Come on down the truck. Back up a little bit. He's gonna come on down the trunk. Watch out. He doesn't drop on you. Can you hear me? Nobody's gonna hurt you. What will it take to get you to come down? Will you talk to me? Everybody move. Hey, everybody can't move. I'll come up to the tree and you can talk to me. I'll make sure you safely get down. South of the school, we're in a backyard uh, off of 38th Avenue, I believe it is. This is Sergeant Spato. I'm responsible for your safety. Come on down. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Where's he at? I'll protect you. Right here. Okay. Get back here. Sit down, son. Don't touch those wires, Sean. Don't grab those. Son, don't hurt yourself. Come on down. Come on, buddy. Come on. Don't hurt yourself. You want an ambulance? I'll get an ambulance for you. I'll protect you, Sean. We have an ambulance in route. Hey, Sean. Hmm. We, we got the ambulance coming, okay? As soon as you see the lights, can you come down? Yeah. The ambulance lights? Yeah. Okay, they're going to be over this way, John. Over this way, back behind me? Mm -hmm. That's where the ambulance lights are coming. Can you see them? Let me know when you see them, and that's when you come down, okay? I, I got a feeling maybe when you were running around, you hit something pretty hard. Did you feel something hard? Yeah. Okay, I think you might have bruised something internally, pal. Okay? That's why I think it's kind of important that you come on down. All right? I don't see the animal. Well, they should be on the street by now. Okay? And, and, and I, you know, I hate to see you up there being hurt. What's going to happen, Sean? You feeling dizzy at all? Sean? Are you feeling dizzy at all? Ambulance people are here. Right here. Right down here. Can you see him now, Charlie? Okay. Deputy, stay back. You all right? Come on down. All right. Watch out. You all right? Coming down. Coming down. Coming down. Sean, we're trying to call your mother. I'm making sure nobody will harm you. There's nobody down here to harm you. There you go. Everybody to help you. One more down. Come on. Grab the next thing down. We're going. We're working our way down, bud. All right? Come on. You all right? All right, come on down. Okay, you're doing fine, son. Hang on, buddy. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Keep hey, going down. Hey, nobody's gonna I'm hurt you. I'm the sergeant here. You're gonna have to come on over this way. We have the ambulance down here. <laughs> come on, let go over there, Sean. Hey, you're all the way down. We have the ambulance here. Hey, somebody. Let go. Just let go of the post, Sean. Just let go. We got you. Sean. We got you. Let go of the post. Okay, got you. Come on down. Okay, Sean. Come on over. You all right? Okay, I'll Watch your head. Keep your feet out here, dude. Keep your... 20, yeah, it looks like 25. Yeah. So he's dropped a gun somewhere between here and there? Yep. <clears throat> he's got three rounds and his trusty pager. Hey, Ryan. He probably have been armed with a 25 at some point. Probably really? dumped, dumped between here and there somewhere, yeah. He's got three rounds in his pocket. He said he didn't have to. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I've been doing this probably going on about 10 or 12 years off and on, and uh, you just never lose the thrill of the chase. It just shows you that uh, it really pays off for me to keep in shape, keep after these young guys, because I'm just not getting any younger. I used to watch American cops on TV all the time when I was in England. 
And I was a bobby over there doing the job. But it wasn't the same, you know, you'd be walking a beat, you've not got a gun, doesn't matter how close you get to the people, you can get personal, you can do a lot of public relations things, and you can have time for people. Then you come over here and the volume of calls is just outrageous. We're checking out. Got these young kids cruising around this newer convertible. We'll run the plate on it. I bet you any money it's uh Baker 4112 of 3, David, Frank, Henry, 865. Is that female driving? Yep. Baker 4112, David, Stay right there, stay. Move back to the car. Get your hands up. Get your hands up, driver. Come here, step up. Baker 41. Lay right down on the cement, right out. there. On your knees, on your knees. Put your hands on your head. Interlace your fingers behind your head. Behind your head. Baker 41 with branch and south. Keep it on there. Don't move. Let's go ahead and stand up. Come on. Stand up. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Okay, come on over here. Come on out. Hands on your head. Let's drop the beer, drop the beer. Hands on your head. Can I use your card? Big 41 is 82278. Yeah, I told you it was going to be a stolen vehicle. It's got young kids driving around in a new car like this. Is it a rental? Huh? A no, rental? Uh, I don't know. I can't see no ID on this it's guy. It was in front of uh, that dope house right down the street. 50 rental car. Yeah. Oh, I think we got some rock cocaine, too. Oh, nice size. How much you got? Talk me. It's probably about an eighty-dollar piece right there. Who's the driver? Female. You had your chance to talk. Huh? Wait a minute. That was the way he just did that question. It's like he making it seem like I'm saying I know what that is. Well, don't care. Don't worry about it. Val, talk to you. See if it's positive. Should turn blue if it's good. Good. It's good for cocaine base. Yeah. If you don't do anything wrong, why are you on adult searchable? Why are you on probation? Why have you had guns in your car? Why have you been done for possession of dope? You don't do anything wrong, you just told me. Well, that then yeah, I did. Yeah. I guess you did do something, huh? I guess you did a lot. Yeah. I was kind of naive. Now I've learned. Now you've learned? Now you've learned to be cleverer? I learned to be careful about where I've been, where I've been at. Well, you know what? If you were careful about who you were with, then you wouldn't have been in that car which was stolen That's true. and that had dope in it. I so obviously you're not stolen. learning. You must still be naive. I didn't, I, obviously, I didn't know the car was stolen. I should have asked a question, though. You are. I should have asked. You know what? So, Ignorance is not a defense. Well, you know, it's like this with me. I don't ask somebody where to get the cars from. You get in your friend's car and ask them when they get their car from? You know what, though? If I had a friend, I'd know what kind of car my friend had. Okay, you're right. And now I know who are my friends and who not. Exactly. Well, you know what? Yeah. Maybe if you keep trying, you'll learn to be more careful, huh? Well, I think I won't even get in a car again ever. I think I'll start taking the bus now. Get a bicycle. A lot of people around here have bicycles. I need to walk. I'm kind of out of shape, though. I've been kind of fat. Yeah. And you ain't gonna get no prints off that fuck on the plane. So we're gonna do. Okay, Huff interviewed her, and basically she said when we lit him up, the guy in the back seat, which is this guy, said, "Hey, take this man. 
And uh, she goes, no, I can't, man. I'm on search and seizure. So basically, he's saying he doesn't know anything about the dope, but the guy in the front seat saying it's her dope, and she's saying it's his dope. So we got enough to do her and him for the dope. But if you get, to, if, you, if we book all of them, you know, it's going to be a weak, weak dope case. Yeah. We're, we're not going to get any prints off the thing. It's under her seat, and the only other person that's really got access him is him behind her. Most likely, we're not going to get prints off that little bag. It's going to come down to the statements. You know what I'm saying? You got enough to go down today, you just got to bite the bullet and go through the process. All right? The stolen car is not going to get pinned on you. So, so that's I'm, one less thing you don't have to worry about. So I'm going down under the charge of 11351.5. Uh, I'm just putting possession, man. I ain't even going to put possession for sales. I'm just in a good mood today. All right? You got anything else to say? What can I say? Hey, I don't know. Words of wisdom? Like what? I mean... Hey, I'm, you write that, you write that poetry. I'm going down you write that today. poetry. You know what I can say today? How about, how about I'm like... I'm going down for something I actually had nothing to, that I had no word, no, no about, about, no... How about the cops? What about the cops? How about the cops undid the rapper on this one? Huh? I think the cops are gonna pin the rapper, if you ask me. Just pin the rapper? All right, why don't you put your foot in? You're gonna go down just for uh, possession of uh, rock cocaine, and we're gonna put the... Uh, why am I being charged with... I didn't have any rock cocaine on my possession. I still well, don't. Well, statements indicate that uh, there's enough there to put the rock cocaine on you, okay? Stolen car will be on her. So the, the car is on her and the rock is on me? No. The car's on her, and the rock's on her, and the rock's on you. 132 in Bush, I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush, covers code 3. Okay, we'll still send a code 3. 